I don't think that men should be looking for a dependent. Bad. Like, you as a woman can't treat your man or make him feel special in any way, even if it's just paying for his haircut, paying for dinner every once in a while. Like, I don't buy into the fact that women have to just be treated all the time if you are not able to gift your man something simple every once in a while you don't need to be with him no lie i high keep me feeling bad for men sometimes and it's because a lot of these women these days are fucking panhandlers <laughs> what's going on everybody welcome back to another video don't forget to hit that like subscribe tickle that notification bell that will let you know whenever i upload content you know what we're gonna do yep roll that clip like i literally saw a video that this girl was saying like oh i'm not going 10 minutes outside my vicinity for a man like who the fuck do y'all think that y'all really the fuck are and by no means am i like a anti like feminine like i just feel like you all make things so fucking transactional when it comes to men and relationships whatever the case is like that's why y'all are fucking single Bad. that's why the fuck y'all women are fucking single Bad. because everything is a fucking transaction it's literally like i'm not gonna do this unless you do this for me like who the fuck raised y'all <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's true and then it's like if y'all really like like somebody why are you trying to finesse them why are you trying to get stuff from them all the fucking time like a man is gonna do whatever he wants to do for you you don't have to fucking ask yeah. you don't have to fucking ask a man to fucking get you flowers you don't have to ask a man to take you on a date you don't have to ask a man to fucking come spend time with you if he actually likes you or if he's not even close or to get you a fucking flight y'all just expect so fucking much from these fucking men and a lot of y'all women don't have money like that y'all don't have the finances to take care of your fucking self but you want someone to take care of you are you a woman or are you a fucking child what did he say are you a woman or are you a fucking child let me know like me if i really fuck with you like i don't care if i go drive a fucking two hour drive i don't care about driving three hours i don't care if i take a bus i don't care if i take a plane i don't care if i take a train i don't care if i ride a fucking bike like i'm gonna see you i'm gonna spend time with you like and then y'all be expecting a person to give you gas money or do you an uber or whatever the case is like are y'all so the fuck for real like and then y'all expect a man to really take care of you like why would the man have to take care of you you just met this man and you expect him to take care of you? Y'all be just meeting men, and I kid you not, and y'all be like, oh, pay my rent, pay my bills. Who the fuck do y'all think y'all are? Y'all feel like y'all are so fucking entitled. And that's why, again, you're fucking single, and you're going to remain single for the rest of your fucking life if you live that way. Fellas, I'm going to break this down to you, and maybe you've never heard this before. Maybe you have. If a woman really likes you, she will spend money on you. Matter of fact, you're going to spend less money because she is going to be spending a lot of money. He ain't lying. A woman that really likes you, she's, she's just not going to care. She's not going to care how much money you have, what kind of car you drive, where you live, how big your apartment is, how big your house is, how much money you took her out on a date with. A lot of these women out here on today's market don't lie again. They're just looking for somebody to take care of them until they drain you for all you got. And then they move on to the next sucker. And now for some rapid fire facts. If a woman tells you that her love language is gifts and she never gives you a gift, she's 100% using you for your money. Yep. Most of the time we love people in the way that we want to be loved or we love other people in our love language. So if her love language was actually gifts, she would be loving you in that same way as well. It's safe to say that. that you know. can, it's safe to say, like you said, the state of modern men, but it's more safe to say that majority of women are only dating for the money. Wow. The land of make-believe. It's not about not really. nothing more well, than that. Yes, because the first thing you just said was, look, they want you to... What that, no, say, right, what that not, say right there? Uh, money fucked the game up. Money fucked the game yeah. up. Because y'all not dating a man for his character, for his integrity, yeah. for his morals, for his principles, or for love, as y'all say. If a man if a man bag ain't right, you, you, you're going to treat him a certain way. You're going to do certain things. But nine times out of ten, like he just said, y'all looking for niggas that's 
making all this money instead of working with a man and building with a man. And then y'all maybe get to that point where y'all both achieving that much money. But instead of doing that, y'all gonna look for a nigga that's making no, no. money that's and that's gonna treat you saying. however he gonna treat you. That's what the dating market is. It's a bunch of hood guns and a bunch of childlike women. You can barely take care of yourself, but you want a grown man to take care of you. If you want a if you want a man to take care of you, you gotta take care of yourself. You gotta pay your own bills. You gotta live your own life. You have to be the type of woman that can attract that type of man. And a lot of you women are. A lot of you women are just selfish, cruel human beings that shouldn't even get a man at all. You deserve to be single for the rest of your life. A lot of you women deserve that. A lot of women just deserve to be single. Y'all are mean. Y'all are bitter. Y'all are hateful. Y'all don't like men. Y'all look at men for what they can do for you, not what you can do together. And I really don't think that women fully understand how to be the counterpart for their man. I really don't feel like um, a lot of women take the time out to understand things that are necessary to maintain a healthy relationship and to keep the spark alive, okay? And you might be like, well, what do you mean by that? I'm gonna tell you. First of all, what I don't, un I don't understand is that women um, expect for men to treat them a certain way they expect to get a certain, um, you know, personality or a certain persona out of their man. They, they expect to be treated as, you know, loved and they, they want all this affection and they want all these things from their men. And they don't realize that the very words that flow from their lips and the actions that they keep up on a daily basis is what's going to determine what type of man you are going to get out of the relationship. Back. A lot of women don't get that. A lot of women don't understand that the ball of the relationship is in your court. It's up to you. Men feed off of the woman's energy in a relationship. If she's calm, if she's respectful, if she's peaceful, she's going to be showered in love and adoration because she is not a burden to him. If she's combative, if she's negative, if she's always complaining, if she's always nag nagging, he is going to reflect that in his behavior towards her because when he looks at her, the only thing that he can see is stress because that's what she's causing. Stop blaming men for every little thing. It's not his fault. Half of the time, it's your fault because men, we operate on what is called cause and effect. Allow me to explain. If we come home from work and you're yelling at us and belittling us and berating us, but then you get mad at the man for yelling at you and telling you to sit the hell down and shut up, Remember that you started it when you came at him sideways. See, a lot of issues and arguments, women start them. Women will start arguments and then they'll blame it on men. Women will start debates and, and questions and then they'll blame it on men. A lot of women have narcissistic tendencies. They will talk to you as if you did something, knowing full well that not only was it her that started it, but it was her that kept it going. So you're sitting there trying to argue your case with the woman but the whole time, the woman already knows that it was her fault to begin with. That's how manipulative and narcissistic some women are. And some women will feed into it. They'll feed off of it. They will enjoy stressing you out because they've never understood what happiness is. They don't know happiness, so they don't understand how to bring you happiness. So it's just one miserable woman making her man miserable.
That's what it is. That's all it is. So you mean to tell me as a woman that you understand how to be happy, how to have a relationship, how to have a successful marriage and you haven't even experienced any of those? Absolutely not. You can't give what you've never had. And you can't get what you've never given. And women are walking around expecting from a man instead of being grateful for a man. You have no gratitude. You have no thankfulness. You have entitlement and arrogance. And then you wonder why nobody wants to do anything for you. Nobody wants to protect you. Nobody wants to provide for you. Nobody wants to listen to you. Nobody wants to be around you. Nobody wants to date you. And nobody wants to marry you. This is why the entitlement, the shaming tactics, the need to be right, the willful ignorance, Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like, subscribe, tickle that notification bell that will let you know when I upload content. And until the next one, peace. I can't remember when I've had a more pleasant day. <laughs>